It's the biggest independent Mercedes tuner and one of the biggest tuners in the world. From the SL Roadster and the G-Wagon to the Smart for Two and Maybach limousines. If you want the fastest ride with an ultra plush interior, you can't go anywhere else. This is everything you need to know to get up to speed on Brabus. If you know me, you know I love three things. Naval warship tactics, big old ships, and the cruel mistress that is the high seas. This episode of Up to Speed is brought to you by World of Warships, the game that gives you control of some of the most fearsome battleships in history. World of Warships is free to play and they're giving Up to Speed fans a special offer. Click the link below to download the game and use code PLAYWARSHIP2018 when registering to receive a special bonus starter pack. You'll get a bunch of cool stuff, plus you'll unlock the HMS Campbelltown, which is pretty much my favorite ship ever. Go get your sea legs, baby. Ahoy, muchacho! It was 1977 in the land that gave us Oktoberfest, Bratwurst, and David Hasselhoff. Sag, das ist ich, ist nicht Bodo Bushman was going to law school and driving around in a Porsche 911 like every other good young German. Who has a name cooler than Bodo? No one, that's who, so I'm gonna use his first name, not his last, because I'm also not sure how to say it. Anyway, Bodo would park his Porsche in front of his parents' Mercedes-Benz dealership when he came home. And his dad didn't think that was good. Bodo, you can only park in front of my showroom if you drive a proper Mercedes-Benz. And Bodo was like, but these 70s Mercedes are luxurious and comfortable, not fast. And his dad was all, yup. And Bodo was like, get out of my face, old man. And his dad was like, what? And Bodo was like, nah, Satan. So Bodo sold his sweet Porsche and started driving an S-Class sedan. Not satisfied with its relatively slow performance, he started looking for shops to tweak his new ride and give it more power. Well, he couldn't find a single one. Instead of settling for the status quo, Bodo figured he'd just do it himself. And he built his Benz into a Porsche beating machine. <laughs> It wasn't long before dealership customers started asking about the custom ride parked out front. Bodo immediately saw a business opportunity, but Germany won't let you start a company without two names signed on the dotted line. So Bodo asked his college buddy, Klaus Brockman, to partner with him. They combined the first three letters of each of their last names and Brabus was born. Brockman actually had zero interest in making extreme modifications to luxury German automobiles. So right away, he sold his half of the biz to Bodo for like 100 Deutschmarks. That's a deal. Bodo's parents let him set up the first Brabus shop at their dealership, and he quickly built a reputation for tuning the S-Class. Brabus was already installing baller TVs and multimedia systems in cars in 1982. And in 1983, the company got its first dedicated showroom. When the W124 Mercedes 190E launched in 84, they started shoving increasingly powerful V8s under the hood and designed new bodywork that dropped the coefficient of drag to a world record low of 0.26. <laughs> By 86, they had grown so much that they needed to move to a bigger location. And where did they move? Where else? Right next to the Autobahn! In 1987, they helped set up the Association of German Auto Tuners with Bodo as its first president. Bodo's motto was, never work for money, work for passion. That's also the motto here at Donut. You guys know what I'm talking about. One Lamont. <laughs> Dude, I started crying. It's such a good story. Thank you. In fact, we are really passionate um, and we really appreciate you guys watching this stuff. So why don't you just go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. Back to the story. In 92, they took the already massive 6 liter V12 from the W140 S600 and bored it out to 6.9 liters to make over 500 hersperts. <laughs> 
Formula One tech started to find its way into Brabus's box of tuning tricks too, and they introduced carbon fiber brakes on their cars in 1995, the same year that Post Malone was born. <laughs> Other manufacturers started to take notice. Supercar maker Bugatti tapped Brabus as their official tuner in 1994, which lasted until Volkswagen bought them out in 98. <laughs> Tuning smart cars turned into such a big part of the little <laughs> running out of spit. Tuning smart cars turned into such a big part of their business that the little commuter cars are now made specifically to allow room for Brabus to work their magic. <laughs> Cool. A Brabus subsidiary even produced Sebastian Vettel special edition FX50s for Infinity. When Mercedes officially partnered with AMG to co-develop high performance models, Brabus didn't see it as losing out to the competition. It meant more opportunities to make bigger power. A string of ridiculously high horsepower cars and a bunch of world records followed, like the fastest production wagon, the fastest street legal sedan, and the fastest street legal SUV. At first, the cars were so fast that no one made tires good enough for them to even hit their true top speeds. But tire manufacturers caught up, and in some cases, Brabus went back and bagged the same record multiple times. The 2005 Brabus E V12 by Turbo was their first sedan record setter. Brabus took a bored out 6.3 liter V12, added two big turbos, a more efficient intercooler, and a stainless steel exhaust for 730 hertz per and 973 pound-feet of torque. Its run at the Nardo Ring in Italy put down a 217 mile per hour top speed. The very next year, Brabus was back at Nardo with the same power plant in a CLS called the Brabus Rocket and shattered its own record by reaching a screaming 227 miles per. Over the years, Mercedes has continually stepped up their luxury game with the Maybach and the G-Wagon and Brabus has been there tuning them every step of the way. Every little step of the way. The Brabus G700 was based on the crazy AMG G63 6x6. It made 700 horsepower and was the very definition of excess. Today, their halo car is the Brabus Rocket 900, an amped up Maybach modified with a custom billet crankshaft, a larger cylinder bore, matching forged pistons, and precision balanced billet connecting rods. It makes 900 horsepower and over a thousand pound feet of torque. <laughs> They still have to electronically limit the torque to a more manageable 885 foot-pounds. Everything is absolutely top of the line. Their cars even come with a three-year warranty. Technicians build engines completely by hand without deadlines. Most of the cars are a subtle black or white in color, except for the Rocket 900 Desert Gold Edition, which was made for the 2015 Dubai Motor Show. Because supercars in the Middle East don't come in any other color, but straight up gold. Inside the cabin is no different. The best quality leathers are grain matched for consistency throughout the interior. There isn't even carpet. No sir, carpet is for plebes. You shall step onto a fine leather covered floorboard when you enter your Teutonic rocket ship. AMG might be bigger, but because they're owned by Mercedes, they can't take on custom jobs. Brabus can. Boom, roasted. And you better believe all that quality workmanship and attention to detail ain't cheap, my man. A Brabus Rocket 900 will set you back a cool 400K. That's twice as much as a plain old S650 and half as much as I make for every episode of Up to Speed. Brabus has expanded far beyond Bodo's first S-Class and Brutal Speed, and they now have subsidiaries that fully restore classics, tune Jaguar and Land Rover models, and even customize yachts. There are Brabus dealerships in over 100 countries. Sadly, Bodo passed away in April of 2018 at only 62, but don't worry, his son has taken over the company to ensure that Bodo Bushman's legacy lives on. 
Hey guys, thank you so much for watching Donut. To make sure you don't miss anything, hit that subscribe button right here or right down here. Yo, we finally have up to speed shirts. Go to shop.donut.media and get you one. Follow me on Instagram, at James Pumphrey. Follow Donut at Donut Media. See my dad, tell him I said you. I love you.